What is going on YouTube? Hey, it's Jason. I am back. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video. Um, you know, life or whatever you want to call it. But I just wanted to make a real quick video. I'm excited because so in the past, when I've shot in my videos, I've generally shot on my iPhone. Um, at one point, I did have a Sony A5100 and I had a Sony um, A6300 which was cool at the time. Um, I was just really into the Sony cameras, but honestly, it was confusing. Um, a lot of times I didn't understand the menus and just in general, aside from just point and shoot, there was a lot of things I didn't understand. So I ended up getting rid of the cameras, just went back to my iPhones. As a lot of you may or may not know, um, I am an actor. So since the pandemic, I, um, I've had to do a lot of self tapes from home, which again, I was shooting on the iPhone. Um, I've had to do quite a bit of Zoom calls, Zoom auditions, Zoom callbacks. And I happened to be in a workshop about four weeks ago um, where there was a, a manager from New York just talking. And one of the things that he said was, if you're, if you're really serious about your acting, especially right now, being in the pandemic, you need to really step your game up. Um, and he, he went into some specifics and I really listened. Um, a few days later, I, I just happened to, you know, be looking online at Best Buy and, I, and they had an open box, this T7i open box. And um, let me go ahead and put my phone on vibrate. So yeah, anyway, I uh, happened to be looking online. Best Buy had an, an open box for this T7i. I, and the price at the time, I mean, it was like several hundred dollars cheaper than uh, a new inbox. So I was like, man, I can't pass this up. And I, I went and got it um, because after that workshop, I had actually started looking into cameras. Now, again, I've always liked Sony cameras. I don't know why, but the acting studio that I teach at, uh, you know, the owner there, he uses cam uh, Canon cameras. And I was, I've was i always been impressed when we're filming students, you know, Canon has this uh, EOS utility software that you can load up onto your computer. Um, and I know that, yeah, if you have a Sony camera or pretty much probably any other camera, you can set up a, a monitor or something like that, which is extra cost. But this EOS utility is pretty cool. You download it, it's free, and you set it up. And, you know, it allows you to um, pretty much, I, mean, I can control the camera from, from right here. So I said to myself, all right, you know, I want to try to get a Canon. Um, plus, I've heard, and now that I've had the Canon, Canon has, it, it produces really great colors. Um, I think that was another frustration I had when I had the Sony's. Um, I shot in, I think it was like S-Log and really didn't understand the coloring when, when trying to upload and things like that. Um, but I ended up getting this camera. It came with a Rode mic, which honestly I ended up not liking because every time I filmed, as I played things back, I always heard this hissing sound. So I ended up um, fortunately being able to return that. Um, and I ended up getting a, right now I'm using the Rode VideoMic NTG, which I mean, I absolutely love it. Um, around the same time I got the T7i, um, the person who right now, if you wanna say is representing me, uh, she has suggested, um, Actually, I got, got this before, but she had suggested about two months ago getting a, a, a microphone, setting up a studio because there's a lot of voiceover work. Um, so I ended up getting a Blue Yeti mic, um, got a filter and things like that. Um, and that was cool. That was cool. Um, got software, you know, uploaded to the to my Mac and um, been getting a lot of uh, voiceover work, auditions, but Man, ever since I got this Rode Video Mic NTG, like <laughs> Blue Yeti is like sitting on the floor, like downstairs in my studio. I, I haven't touched it at all. Um, I've been using this NTG 
uh, all the time. I mean, matter of fact, last night I, I had a, a voiceover session um, for a uh, voiceover part that I got. I uh, had a session last night with the director uh, over Google, uh, Google Hangouts. And we ended up, you know, she di- she directed me through the process, but we ended up just recording my, my part um, for this particular uh, voiceover. And I used this mic. I, I think it's, it's, it's great. Right now, I'm actually just sitting up in my room. Uh, you probably can tell, as you can see, uh, my bed frame in the back. Um, generally, everything is downstairs in my studio, um, but I'm just upstairs right now. I got some really good lighting. Um, anyway, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, going back to the camera, like ever since I got the camera, like I've just been intrigued with cameras like every single day. You know, my wife will tell you I am on YouTube, like looking up cameras. Um, and right now the T7i is cool because I'm, I'm learning it. I'm, I'm literally every day I'm outside, like trying to learn how to shoot on the camera and uh, for photography and video as well. Now, my main purpose, of course, is, um, you know, after this manager in this workshop uh, suggested, well, you know what? I can't remember if I said it, my mind's like all over the place. If I didn't, let me say it real quick. If I did, I'll just edit it out later. Um, but I was in a workshop uh, about four weeks ago and this manager just said, you know, if you're, if you're really serious about, you know, your career, especially with everything going on right now, these self tapes, these zoom calls, a lot of things, you know, you're, you're self taping, um, you know, your callbacks are, are being done live through zoom and, you know, there's ways that you can use your DSLR or your mirrorless camera um, uh, as your camera doing these calls. Um, I ended up getting some some lighting. You know, I had some really cheap lights back then. Um, but after that workshop, you know, I got the camera. I got some LED lights. I got the microphone and um, just really trying to take everything serious. And it's, it's been a really, like, it's been a blessing. I, you know, I don't know if it's because of the camera or whatever the case may be, but the amount of callbacks that I'm getting, you know, voiceover and um, the TV and film auditions that I'm getting. Um, you know, as he said, the more professional you look, the more serious people take you. That's one part of it, because of course there's the acting part of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, every day, like I'm looking at cameras and, and now I also have an understanding. I didn't have this understanding when I had my Sony, <clears throat> excuse me, when I had my Sony's, but it's also your lenses. You can have a great camera, but lenses play a, a, a really important factor too. So right now upstairs in my room, I'm shooting on, uh, I have a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8. Um, like I said, when I got this camera, I, it, got a really good deal because I ended up getting lenses as well so of course it came with the kit lens which was the 18, 18 to 55 um, barely used that um, I ended up getting this uh, Sigma let me put it in focus real quick got this Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 and generally this is the lens that uh, is on my camera probably 80 to 85 maybe 90 percent of the time this is the lens that i'm always using just right now being up in my room um the 50 millimeter is a tighter crop um you know so right now like i said I'm, I'm using the 50 millimeter uh to film this but just understanding the lenses understanding camera I, every day i'm researching and and, it, and i'm excited because i, I want to learn that's w one thing about me when i'm really excited about something like i dig into it so you know i'm looking at the um because the t7i you know 1080 which is cool with me because most of the time i'm uploading things in 1080 and i'm starting to understand too when you're shooting in 4k that that's more data that you're using um Right now, uh, shooting in 1080 and, you know, I can upscale it to 4K, which is cool with me. Um, I've been looking at the Canon 90D, the EOS R, but I'm still like really into the Sony's. 
Um, I saw the, the A7S 3 which has caught my attention because it's mainly um, from what I've seen um, for video, which is for the most part what I do. Um, but I really want to learn how to, to go out and use this camera to, you know, um, the guy who did my headshots, he's an actor, but his full-time job, uh, you know, what he does to maintain his living is he is a, a headshot photographer and his work is dope. I'm going to post a picture of my headshot right now so you can see his work. But it, I mean, he's dope. And, and this is what he this is how he maintains uh, his living while also pursuing acting. So I thought to myself, man, if I could really learn how to use these cameras, not just to film myself, not just to do YouTube, but go out and do headshots, I can make some money. Um, so anyway, it's, it's been quite a while since I've made a video, but I'm home like most of us are right now during this pandemic. So there's no excuse not to upload content. This channel pretty much has been kind of a, kind of everything, you know, I'm a techie. So most of the things I'm going to talk about on this channel are going to be tech, uh, tech related. But, um, I just wanted to make this quick video. Hey, you know, I'm back. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been saying that on YouTube, uh, since this pandemic, but I'm really excited about this camera, like just really excited. So, um, I'm not gonna hold you up any longer. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll be seeing you soon.